Welcome everyone to set up the iPhone 15 Plus. Let's start by swiping up and then we will need to select our language and then our country or region. It will now ask us to change the size of the text and icons. I would recommend default, but you can use the slider, the preview medium or large and choose what is best for you. If you need to use any accessibility features, at the top right hand side, you see the accessibility icon. And if you tap into this, you can view all of the accessibility features and you can turn them on or off if you would like to. Me personally, I'm gonna leave everything on default and tap continue. We now see quick start, this is used to transfer data from your old iPhone if you own one. This video will not cover using Quick Start. I have a dedicated tutorial on transferring data in the description if you do need to transfer. This video is made for those who do not have data to transfer. And if that's the case, let's tap on Setup without another device. It's now asking us to choose a Wi-Fi network. If you are in the US and you need to use eSIM, connecting to a Wi-Fi network is mandatory for the eSIM setup. If you have an international iPhone 15 Plus, you can insert a SIM card and use cellular or mobile data instead of Wi-Fi. Me personally, I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi network now. Once we are connected, the iPhone will now activate. If your iPhone 15 Plus is used, it's possible it will ask you to enter in the old owner's Apple ID. If that's the case, you will need to ask the old owner to remove their Apple account. If they can't remove their account, you can't use this phone, so you will need to return it. If you see here, data and privacy, then there was no old lock and we can proceed. So on this screen, let's tap on continue. And then it's going to ask us if we want to set up the iPhone for ourselves or for a child in the family. If you're setting up for a child, this will not be the only iPhone you own. You will have to own your own iPhone. And so I'm personally gonna set up for myself. Face ID is a 3D face scanning system and it's used to unlock your iPhone. It's very secure. I personally recommend you select continue and then get started. You now need to place your face in the frame. And then once you're done, rotate your head to scan your face. If you use face ID with a mask or want to, tap this option and it will ask you to do a second scan. If you're not using a mask like me, then select don't use face ID with a mask and you will only need to do one scan and face ID is now set up. From here, it wants us to create an iPhone passcode. A passcode is mandatory unless you didn't use face ID then under passcode options, there'd be an option to skip. But setting a passcode is good because if your phone is stolen, then someone can't use it. So by default, it's recommending a six digit pin. But me personally, I'm going to select passcode options and I'm going to use the four digit pin. You can select custom numeric code to have an unlimited length pin or alphanumeric to set a password with numbers and letters. I'm going to select four digit and then I'm going to enter in my pin. Uh, from here, we give this a couple of seconds. We see transfer apps and data. I'm going to select don't transfer anything. If you do want to transfer, check the tutorial in the description. 
it's now asking us to sign in with our Apple ID. If you don't have an Apple ID, tap on don't have Apple ID and then tap on create and follow the on-screen instructions. Apple ID is used to download apps from the App Store. It's used for iMessage, FaceTime, name an Apple service, and you need an Apple ID for it. So I'm going to sign in, either sign in or create an account now. It will now ask us to agree to the terms and conditions. You must agree if you want to use your iPhone. It will also sign us in to our Apple account. We now see, make this your new iPhone. If you have this option, let's tap on customize. Update your iPhone automatically. This is recommended if you're not constantly keeping up with technology news because it will keep your iPhone up to date and it will just keep your iPhone running smooth. If you're like me and you're always monitoring when new software releases, then select only download automatically. Otherwise, select continue. But this is up to you at the end of the day. Location services, I would recommend you enable this. And the reason why is apps have to ask for permission before they use your location. And so the weather app, the Maps app, you're going to want to allow location for that, but other apps, you can deny the access. Set up mobile service. This is eSIM. If you need to activate eSIM, I have a dedicated tutorial in the description, and I would recommend you watch it. Me personally, I'm going to select set up later as I have a physical SIM card slot, which I'll be using. Apple Pay allows you to add your car to your iPhone and then use your iPhone to make payments. If you want to do that, tap on continue and it will ask you to enter in your card details. Me personally, I'm going to select set up later. We see Siri and dictation is asking us to share any audio recordings. I'm personally going to select not now. But if you want to help improve Siri, help improve dictation, you can share. Screen time will show you how long you're using your iPhone every day. I would recommend you tap on continue and turn this one on. Your usage is not sent to Apple. iPhone analytics, this will track what you're doing on your iPhone and then send it to Apple to improve their products and services. I'm personally going to select don't share. Light or dark mode. You can tap to switch the modes. You can always change this in the settings if you aren't happy, but I think light works best for most, uh, most people. Emergency SOS. This is just informing you the iPhone is ready in an emergency. And then, welcome to iPhone, swipe up to get started. And from here, we're in business. If there's anything you want to do on your iPhone, you can either check out my channel page or go onto the YouTube website or app and just search up your query and locate my tutorials. I almost certainly have a tutorial for your needs. So just search it up, find my video, and almost certainly it will be the right video for you. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description and check out my other videos. Bye bye.